I just wish my daughter was here. And tonight, a mother opens up and shares her grief after losing her daughter and unborn twin grandsons to murder. Alexis Watson's mother is talking for the very first time in this exclusive interview with us about the crime in Anderson and Madison County that really shocked the entire small community there. She had that conversation today with our Jenny Ranovich, and she told her that her daughter was involved in a toxic relationship, and it was a relationship with the accused killer that eventually the mother believes ended her life. Because it's just hard to believe that she's not here anymore. Like her pretty smile, her beautiful eyes. Everyone loved Alexis. Losing a child to murder has left Wendy Wasson numb. 29-year-old Alexis was her firstborn, her best friend, her joy. A mother of a five-year-old girl expecting twin boys with a huge heart. She was a very vibrant, outgoing, such a happy, happy person. But Wendy watched that happiness fade over the past year. A troubled relationship with a man who prosecutors say killed Alexis turned increasingly toxic. We tried to get her out of it. She shoved all her good friends aside. She shoved her family aside. Um, she was really close to my mom. It was just a shame that someone had that much control over her that they could do this. Prosecutors say in the middle of the night, August 2nd, Skylar White shot his pregnant girlfriend in the back of the head. He claimed the gun went off by accident, only grazed her. But police say he never called 911, instead driving Alexis to his mother's home, then running off. Days later, Wendy watched helplessly in the hospital. And I just kept on praying that there would be some kind of miracle. As one by one, her unborn grandsons and then her daughter passed away. I just wish she could have opened her eyes and told me to something. Wendy now wants justice for her daughter and wants others to remember that joyous personality before violence took her life. She's in a better place now. She's away from harm and being hurt. In Madison County, Jenny Renovich, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. And that grieving mother wants other women to stay safe tonight and stay away from potential danger. So if you or someone that you love happens to be involved in a toxic relationship that may involve abuse, we want you to know there is help. And we've put together all the resources tonight. There are people to talk to, places to turn. It's all online at WTHR.com.